Okay, so have you ever had two friends that you knew wouldn't get along because they were just too different? And you, you hung out with each of these friends for completely different reasons, and you loved them both. They both bring certain things into your life that you treasure and appreciate, but they're on such opposite spectrums that you know they won't get along. And yet, one day, at a party, they just both so happen to be in the same place, and your world gets turned upside down because guess what? These people get along so well, it redefines how you view these people. It's completely changed your perspective on not just them, but people in general. All right, now, so now I'm gonna describe these two people to you now. Rip and tear, aggression, blood, demon slaying, friendship, community, uh, uh, fishing, delight. Now, imagine these two people meeting and getting along better than anyone could have ever expected. It shouldn't work, but it does. And it's absolutely insane, and I can't get over it because I can't stop thinking about it. Why do these two work together so dang well? Okay, so in case you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, we found out that there are two very popular games that were set to come out on the same date, March 20th. And usually this would be some kind of, you know, a problem. If you like a game, you want it to sell well. And if there's another popular game coming out at the same time, you kind of are like, uh-oh, this might impact my game sales. Not the case for these two games. On one side, you had Animal Crossing, a very delightful, fun, casual, lighthearted game, and Doom, the rip and tear gore fest. And uh, it was weird because when both of the dates were announced for these games and they found out they were coming out the same day, you had both fandoms kind of reaching out to one another to say, hey, we see you, we're happy for you. Even though the things we like are completely different, we uh, respect you and you, uh, we hope you have a good sales day. And it was nice because you had both the fandom from Doom reaching out and doing cute little Isabel art and you had the fandom from Animal Crossing also making adorable little fan art. And uh, it seemed to be something that both sides appreciated. Doom has a little bit of a heart. People like seeing Isabel doing some kick-ass things. So it was something that worked out and uh, the interest aligned in this case. There was a real cohesion of both of these different fandoms and they kind of came together to pay respect to one another. And the internet kind of noticed and even people who weren't in these fandoms started making fan art for both of these uh, kind of fandoms coming together. It was adorable little pairing. People really liked to see them getting along and uh, the internet kind of celebrated it. You even saw websites like ESPN covering it. It was pretty bizarre and it's still happening. You still see these really elaborate an fan animations coming out every day. It seems like a rare, super weird planet aligning moment where these two different, completely different fandoms came together to create something, you know, that everyone can kind of appreciate. Doom's crunchy, salty peanut butter with uh, Animal Crossing sweet jelly, and you get a very delightful peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And it's something that I really enjoy, and it's something I'd like to see more often, but it seems to be a very rare occurrence. So good. I can't be the only one who's just so excited about the idea of two completely opposite sides of the internet coming together and just being friendly for once. It feels like on the internet there's so many disparate ideas, so many opposing opinions that in this one rare scenario to have two opposites collide in a way that wasn't just them fighting, it was them making something new. It's easy to get defensive about our differences because they kind of define us. And when somebody is opposite of ourselves, it's uh, very easy to oppose that person and to make them an enemy in some ways. But that doesn't have to always be the case. We can be more like Doom Crossing, where instead of trying to fight against the people who are different from us, we come together and make something wholly different and unique. And uh, in this case, very wholesome. So while I was making this video, I was trying to come up with a lot of different examples of uh, matchmaking media, you know, like matchmaking of memes and shows and games and whatnot. And I was actually kind of struggling to come up with some. So I was wondering if you guys could help me out a little bit. What are two things that you like that don't really seem to go together? Is there a book that you enjoy that people are surprised that you enjoy? Is there a movie that you like that really doesn't fit in with the rest of your favorite movies list? Maybe you can introduce something cool to somebody. And that's what the internet's all about, isn't it? I hope you have a good evening, Netscape Navigators. Mm -hmm.